When big storms hit California, lakes like Folsom have to release a lot of water to make room for more water. Well, all that extra water just goes out to sea, unused. What if there was a way to capture all that storm runoff that's unused and save it for the drought we know is eventually coming? Well, that's exactly what state water officials are trying to do by storing it underground. This is fundamentally changing the way we look at how we manage water in the state. In other words, California is going through a turning point in history for water storage. For groundwater sustainability. For decades, hydrogeologist Tim Goodwin has been studying groundwater. He says the Department of Water Resources is now looking at the whole water picture. Notice I'm not distinguishing groundwater from surface water. It is one resource. They are connected. So just how much water can we store underground? Imagine this water bucket represents all the water in our lakes and rivers. 40 to 50 million acre feet of water from rain and snow. These garbage cans represent how much water we can store underground. And even though the aquifers aren't all the way empty, there is still plenty enough room to fit four to five times the amount of water we get in one year. In other words, this is just a drop in the bucket. So how do we get all that water underground? Scientists have found two main ways. Put the back. For the first, we go to Roseville. So we have to reroute it around the, the check valve. These large pipes are part of an advanced water pump. Over 20 years in the making. In 2006, the city of Roseville was one of the first to build a reversible water pump. Really key in sort of pioneering the process really from the start. Sure, this pump can get water out of the ground, but when we aren't in a drought, these pumps can put large amounts of treated water back into the ground. So to give you an example, this this past year, uh, we were able to recharge about 2,000 acre feet of water. So that's 6,000 households worth of water. It's hard to visualize where all that water goes underground. But when these pumps reverse, they send water deep into the ground, hundreds of feet down, saturating layers of rock, dirt, sand, and silt, replenishing the aquifers that have been slowly shrinking over decades of use. The other way to get a lot of water underground fast are groundwater basins, big areas of land that can be flooded with storm runoff. If you look across this landscape, I mean, it looks all the same, right? So people think, oh, the aquifer is uniform like that. Well, it's not uniform. Dr. Graham Fogg has studied hydrogeology for 42 years. He says it's kind of like a complex architecture underground. This land in Sacramento County might not look like much, but it's perfect for absorbing large amounts of water that would quickly drain into the aquifer deep below the surface. Where the water moves relatively rapidly, and where we can recharge relatively rapidly is where there's sand and gravel. To find where the most porous soil is, the DWR uses this huge high-tech electromagnetic device carried high above the ground by a helicopter traveling up and down the state. Think of it like a giant X-ray or MRI machine that looks deep into the ground a thousand feet to map where the most porous areas are located. Whether it's big basins or reversible pumps, these tools will become more and more important as storms have the potential to get bigger and bigger. Our surface water storage can fill quickly as we saw last year. Then what? This is the then what? This way of thinking about groundwater storage is so different from yesteryear that it takes years to catch on. There are hundreds of water agencies, thousands of property owners up and down the state that have to make these changes. But already, many cities, Roseville, Sacramento, and countless farmers are catching on and making those changes to save our water future. In Sacramento County, covering local news that matters, I'm Richard Sharp, Fox 40 News.